All right, so uh, now I have some free time. I'm going to be doing a review of a pair of headphones. It's maybe not everybody's favorite thing, but I, I like music and decent sound. And these headphones are the Osdom MO8 headphones. Other people have reviewed them before. I actually learned about them through a review from Mark the Geek. And I'm glad I did. I got them for 40 bucks through his link. And they are they sound great the uh, i had before the photo of uh bht3 whatever they're called and i thought those sounded great and then when i got these i was like whoa that's a lot better and i actually paid more for the photos um so you see they're actually re this was only 40 bucks i they have really great build quality uh this is actually this is metal uh aluminum whatever it's called but after using these, I have actually used these for over four months. I can tell you these are not plastic. This is not plastic. Um, the the headphones feel really sturdy. Like, I don't know how they can make money off of this, to tell you the truth. This, has, this seems like a, a product that uh, is more for uh, selling their name or their brand than a product to make money with. Um... But the, the Q is kind of across the board, really just everything's clear. Um, there's no overemphasized bass, so if you don't listen, so if you listen to like bass heavy music, it's not really going to do much for you probably. But I like that because I listen to a lot of rock and metal and stuff, and I don't like overemphasized bass or overemphasize anything. And this seems to just across the board give you a great EQ. And very, everything's clear, the bass is clear, the, the mids, treble, whatever the fuck, is clear. Um, it pairs very well. It lasts really long. So, um, yeah, it's also, uh, it's wired and wireless. So, that's good. And the ear cups uh, are good, they're comfortable, they don't give you ear fatigue. Um, the headband is okay, it doesn't, like cause problems with your head or anything um yeah it's just overall it's a very sturdy pair of headphones i brought them to work to me work to me to work with me <laughs> um and that worked out well uh it has this it only has three buttons so there's like almost like hotkey stuff i never could use buttons on the headphones, I always grab my phone no matter what. So um, the only thing I do touch is the power uh, to help me turn it on. When I, I put it on my head and then I try to turn the power on. So I memorize where the power button is. Outside of that, you know, that's about it. <laughs> um, also, as a comparison that we bring over here, um, one thing that we have here is a pair of what used to be over $200 headphones. These aren't mine. Um, but somebody got these with a gift card. And yeah, these are dun, 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 overpriced Bose headphones. Really overpriced. They are flimsy. They are just cheap. They scream cheap. They have a Bluetooth dongle on them that you have to remove if you want to use wired headphones. So if you lose the, the dongle, I don't even know how to remove the damn dongle. But if you remove that and you want to use the wired and you lose the Bluetooth dongle, you have to either, if you can, buy a new Bluetooth dongle. These are discontinued, by the way. If you want to buy, let me see, what are these? These are what? It says on the in, inside here... In somewhat clear letters, or somewhere on these, what model they are. Um, AE2. And they're discontinued. However, when they came, first came out, they were like over 200 bucks. And this headband is very weird. It has like three, three pieces of some shit in here that shift around. These actually got really good reviews, too. They don't sound, I mean, they don't sound like you know, fucking Apple headphones or something, but they, they're they not... I, I listened to these. I expected these to kind of get crushed by these, just stupid based on the price. 
No way. These fucking mute, these headphones, the sound mutilates these. I mean, like, I thought this was at the least going to sound a slight bit better than these. No way. These suck. These sound like shit compared to this. So, yeah. These $200, this is why price doesn't really matter all the time. These $200 flimsy fucking cheap-ass headphones. Yeah, they don't sound that great compared to these. These sound awesome. If they broke, I would buy them again. Um, these are basically like... I guess it's a step above shitty Beats headphones. You know. But, still, they sound like shit compared to these. Not completely like shit, just compared to these... A $40 pair of headphones versus $200 plus hair pair of headphones. These sound like crap compared to these. So, that's one thing. Uh, as far as, let's see, what is it? What am I talking about? Uh, noise leaking out, yeah. I, I had a complaint once. <laughs> I had a complaint. I was in a store. I was listening to my headphones. And somebody complained. I forgot to turn my headphones down when I went in the store. And somebody complained. So people can hear it. But I, I have a tendency to sometimes listen to my headphones really loud. But I try to be respectful of people by remembering to turn things down in certain situations. And sometimes I forget. And then I get yelled at. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that... that, that I... It's definitely better than the uh, photos that I have, the BHT3, I think it's called. It definitely doesn't give you that much uh, bleeding or whatever out of the fucking headphones. <laughs> but one thing that it does state is that these are in-ear headphones. And there is fucking no way, unless you are a baby, that your ears are going to fit in these things. Um, these are on here, I, on ear, I don't give a shit what the fucking description says. These are on ear headphones, they will sit on your ears unless you are a baby with tiny little ears. Or if you have your, your ears chopped up a little bit, you know, maybe if you cut your ears smaller, they'll fit in there, okay? So if you want to buy the headphones so you, and cut your ears so that they'll fit in the cups, you can do that. I don't know why you would want to, but whatever. Uh, but so far, after using these for over, over four months, uh, they, I've never had a build quality issue. Nothing is like feeling loose or anything. Everything just is good. The sound is great. Uh, cups aren't like deteriorating or anything. There's no like, you know, nothing's falling off. No weird shit's going on. Uh, the microphone for the, there is a mic so you can make phone calls. I don't normally use that because no matter what pair of headphones I ever use, people complain about echoes. And I'm assuming that would be the same fucking thing here. I'm assuming that's more of a sound issue. Um, that's just, I don't know. <laughs> it's not the headphones, it's just something about sound. Um, so... That's that. So I wouldn't be using these for phone calls. I normally turn the call uh, call audio thing off. You can go in the settings and have it set so that it doesn't uh, use the mic for calls. So, yeah. Other than that, they fold up. The cups don't swivel. That's the only thing. I like when the cups swivel because if I put it on my around my, my uh, neck... When I'm not listening to music, uh, the cups get in the way when I move my head. And if they swivel, then that's not a problem, but they don't swivel. So I either uh, put them around my neck or I fold them up like this and, and put them in my jacket pocket or something. So that's that. But I definitely recommend getting these headphones, especially if you can find them like 40 bucks. Check out Mark the Geek's video. I don't know if his link is still valid. It does come from China and takes a while, but... I'll link you in the description to his video 
and from there, hopefully his link, uh, his promotional link thing still works, and you can actually get a pair of these for 40 bucks. And yeah, um, these are really, they sound really awesome, especially when you have Viper for Android on your phone, you know, or any mod. Even if you use like audio effects or something with Cyanogen Mod, uh, that that actually is a really good app too. Um, I prefer Viper, but uh, if you want something simple, audio effects and Cyanogen Mod is awesome. Um, so thank you for watching, and uh yeah, I definitely recommend these. Don't pay $200 for a fucking pair of headphones because it's a fucking ripoff. And you can find something a lot cheaper that sounds really good. Thank you for watching.